Hello everyone, my name is Daniel and I'm just a casual sim racer. And today we're at Nancy Sea Champ, which is a 1930s era track. It just was recently released. It's available on Race Department, so go check that out. I've got a link down in the video description. And we're going to be driving some 1934 era Grand Prix cars from Historic Sim Studios on it. Specifically, I'm going to be driving the 1934 Maserati 8CM here. see that there's some good detail here at the starting line you know they got the stands and some pit detail um, unfortunately this tracks a little hit or miss um, you'll see that the trees here look a bit toyish as I would put it um, but overall I think there's a lot of potential and I want to encourage the creator F1 pilot JV to continue to work on this track because you know maybe getting a little more detail nicer looking uh, dirt texture for the track surface. Also, just getting some more detail because it's a little bit flat and smooth right now. We squeeze through turn one, which is a real tight right-hander there. Um, but then, like this part of the track, um, I think this city park is the best part of the entire circuit. You know, the detail on the buildings is quite good. I know a set of course is not the easiest to get building detail. Make it look super realistic. And we only have trees FX and grass FX. Um, but yeah, I think he's done a nice job on that. And then in regard to like, I think two major upgrades that F1 Pilot JV can do to really improve this track is tree FX on the trees around the circuit to really make them look better, especially the bigger ones, get rid of that toy-like appearance. But then also uh, working on adding some texture to the track surface. Because right now, even though it's like a dirt, surface it's very smooth too smooth in my opinion and so definitely could use some work in that regard so up into fifth here but like there's nice details there's so much potential here and like i mean what's the big thing i'm, I'm checking this out to see you know if you want to use up the hard drive space for this track and i'd say if you're looking for like a little ski or a fat alpi type of track then probably not going to be interested in this or if you mostly drive modern cars and you're just checking this out you know probably not the track for you but if you're looking for a you know you're really into period correct cars for example you're subscribed to the historic sim studios patreon you can't you know the more historic stuff you can get then of course yeah download this it's it's good enough that you can I think, add it into a rotation let's say driving the 1934 grand prix cars like i'm doing here and you can add it to your rotation and just mix up the variety of tracks. You know, it's kind of a mid-level run free race, which I think it works perfectly for. I'm going to try to seal off fourth place here. Onto the main straightaway there, coming out of the final corner. Just two laps. It's kind of a longer circuit, as you can see, so it didn't want to take forever. Stay to the left here, as you'll see this pit lane, that's where the cars will go if they're wrecked it can make it quite a tight fit, especially at high speed. And this being a long front straightaway, you can often max out your car like we're going to do here, 151 miles per hour. Get on the brakes kind of early, start working our way down. Remember, this is a really dangerous and tight first first corner. It's right-hander between these two buildings here. Up into fourth. And so we're chasing third place. Um, Back in the day, remember, only the top three would get bonus points for finishing. You know, you get extra points for first, one less for second, one less for third, and then everyone else behind that would get points based on how much of the race they finished, not the exact finishing. So, see if we can catch up. I don't know, I might have to drive too dangerously. We'll see. Let's see how hard I can push. There's the leaders. Looks like they're all together. Yeah, overall, I mean, the track, as you can see, there's 
quite some nice things. You're gonna see one of them probably my second favorite thing about the track other than the town is just gantry and condola. Gondola as we go under it. Alright. Down into third. Down into second. We braked a lot. We did get up into third. Up into third. Really sent it in there. Had nothing, got nothing for that kind of but Yeah, we're going to get a podium position here. So, yeah, like I said, if you're a fan of vintage racing and you want to add another car, another track to your rotation, I think this is one worth downloading. Otherwise, perhaps, you know, wait till maybe there's some improvements from the creator. So, hope that gives you some information make a decision check out the links down in the video description but most of all i hope you all have a fantastic rest of your week